Let's talk about the father's house. The first time uh, Chris brought me to show me the building, I saw the excitement. He gave me the testimony, and it's amazing. And I, Hetty, and myself got such an excitement in us. Because I saw what the Lord's going to do. And last night and the night before, um, he took me into many encounters, visions, dreams, and I know in places in heaven. And there are different dimensions what he's going to do here and what he's planning here. And firstly, he said, because of Chris and Jenny and the leadership obedience, I'm going to bless them. They stepped out. They stepped out in obedience, even through gossip and slander and persecution. They kept their eyes on me. I'm going to bless it, and it will be the outpouring of Joel too. It will be the outpouring of his glory and his abundance. He said, and I've put them through the test. Chris and Jenny. He said, I've put them in the fire, but there's a scripture that says, and there's a ring of fire around you, but inside I stand in the fullness of my glory. And when the Lord showed me, he said, I am in the fullness of my glory in your lives, Chris and Jenny and your children, and in Father's house. And the next moment I was taken, let's call it a realm or place, And I stood and I looked upon the father's house and I saw hundreds, thousands of children, probably from little ones to the ages of five, six, seven. And they stood and the next moment they transformed. And they all stood like this. And if you've seen bodybuilders, like the big men, the big heavy bodybuilders, and these little children all got transformed in these massive this little guys, but they're all strong bodybuilders. And they ran into the streets. But they had the ability as well to give big leaps and jumps. And some of them jumped from here across to other states. And a few of them jumped into other nations. But what was strange to me, and this morning when I looked at the worship and I, I revisited that encounter, all of them stood with their, their mouths like this. The whole time, and a sound came out of their mouths. But it was a perfect sound. And then the Lord took me to the scripture in Hebrew 1 where he says, I maintain and I uphold all of creation through my mighty word of power, my sound. And he said, "These, I'm taking this place, Father's house, and I'm going to create and equip a generation of youth that will maintain and uphold all of creation. They're just going to walk in the streets. They're not going to speak words. They're just going to open their mouths and release God's sound. And bring back the glory of earth. Bring back the praise and the worship that needs to be released on the earth for the great one. The great I am. They're going to do it. And hey, when they release the sound, great miracles and things is going to happen. The people going to stand up out of their wheelchairs. People is just going to get slain when they walk and they just stand in the streets. So God's raising up a radical generation of youth in this place. Father's house will always be a house of worship. So I also saw this place as a sound, as a beacon, as an altar, as a pillar in the temple of God of worship. And a lot of worshipers will be equipped to release, equipped to release. And this is also a prophetic house, and it will be a house of power evangelism. So people will come in and will go out, and there will come a time in the season where people will stand in queues and lines to get in, and people will know across the nation and nations out there, this is a place where God dwells, where they want to come and experience and visit Yahweh. The key is to always keep your eyes on Him. Don't move to the left. Don't move to the right. Don't ever look in the natural. Look above. 
You seated above your circumstances. You seated above everything. I want to make it clear to each and every one of you here. It includes you. It's not just Chris and Denny and the family and the leadership. All of you have been chosen to be here. So nothing is impossible. Amen. Bless you of it.